In today's video, we're going to talk about 12 series and 13 series shock valving. Um, so, the possibilities of what we can do and how much valving we can do. Uh, but first, let's kind of cover. Um, like our. Uh, thank you for visiting our channel. Go like it, subscribe, help us to promote this uh, channel on YouTube, and to get more viewers and to shed the, share the word. Uh, so subscribe to our channel and help us out and help us grow. Thanks uh, 12 series shocks, so we're going to do a couple videos um, On 12 series stuff, so first let's do a video, you know 12 13 series video on valving and we'll start on the right front um, If you order a shock, you know when you order shocks from us you call we kind of talk about your car the mod light stuff is a little more um, easy to get started on than other classes. Uh, the spring rates are a little more consistent than other classes, so it's a little easier. So you can have a shock package that's a 40, 20, 20, 40 type setup. Um, it, you know, more like a dwarf car if that's what you want. We do them. That's not what we recommend. So on the right front, we kind of start with the right front 1-40. Um, and then we go to a 50, a 60, a 75, and a 100. And then after that, we go into a Gorilla Fist. Uh, the Gorilla Fist is not something that's widely done in a mod light. Uh, it's a lot of valving. Uh, and it's probably too much valving for, for that way to car. But, so what are you getting? Right front 1-40. The right front one means it's a modified uh, low speed versus high speed, and the 40 means it's 40 pounds at one inches. Okay, so a right front one 40 is a beginner shock for rebound on the right front. Right front one 50 is a lot of people run that. That's a pretty primary shock for that car, uh, and then a 60 75 starts tying it down harder and harder. Uh, that 50, right front one 50, that's about a seven or eight rebound shock. If you was to order a seven or eight rebound shock, it would not, you know, if you come in and said, hey, I want a 7010, wouldn't be the same as a right front one 50. The low speed in a right front one 50 is much greater than a 7010. Um, maybe we can show some examples. I'll put a link in the, in the bio for you guys. So. You can view that on our website, um, but that's a right front. Right front, you know, typically starts at a 40, goes up to about a 75. This is a good amount of rebound, you know, for a 200, 220 pound spring. Uh, this will turn the car very well. So it goes 40, right front 1 40, 50, 60, 75. Left front. A lot of the left fronts are 140, 160, uh, which is really close to a 3030. Um, just a, stacked a little different, and it's got a little bit different bleed uh, shim in it uh, than a 3030. But the next step up is a left front 1 40 backslash 160. When you write them out on paper, the only difference is. The dash so one's 140 backslash 160 and and the other one's a 1 dash 40 here again the 40 is the amount of rebound at one inch when, when we dyno it so um, haven't really explored deep into uh, rebound on the left front on the mod lights but the opportunity is endless the opportunity for valving in these shocks is almost endless so we haven't hardly scratched the surface uh, which will take us to another video about you know um, standard size shocks versus big body shocks uh, look for that one coming um, so we really haven't even scratched the the surface of this yet so right rear right rear is usually a right rear one dash uh, no I'm sorry a right rear 150 backslash 160 the right rear on the mod lights is is an important shock, and, and it's not really being developed fully by us yet. Uh, 
because I feel like we need to fix the panard bar issues on the right rear and that's not been done yet so we need to really get that taken care of we're too right rear dominant on the mod lights uh, to be tying them down that much so we really need to be springing them up um, I'm a little soft on spring rates at 160 180 and we probably need to be into the 200 225 250 range so be thinking about that if you want to talk about it you know feel free to call and we can discuss that left rears we've never really overdone the left rears because we always you know the mod light right fronts have been underdone so making a three link car tighter in the left rear is not you know the smartest thing in the world so we've been doing a, like a 125 225 we do an 80 300 we do a 100 300 so that's rebound compression you know 180 pounds of rebound 300 pounds of compression and that's going to be on um you know about 225 pounds of gas uh so left rears we can do a left rear 1-40 300 left rear 1-40 400 so we can make it go 300 350 400 450 uh the the um, valving on the left rear is endless but doesn't need to be overdone uh it's pointless to, uh, to be overdone the left rear shock is not going to carry you in the corner the the left rear shock is going to get you out of the corner so that's that's the that's the principle that's not what that that's not what the market wants the market wants the shock to carry it into the corner uh, the principle of the car is for the driver to carry the car into the corner, for the driver to get the car into the corner, and the shock to get the car out. Um, in this, in these shocks, in a 12 series or a 13 series, you can get the 12 series in an SRT, and you can also get it in a two and a half inch uh, spring kit, um, but you cannot get it in a base valve. The 13 series, you can get in a base valve, you can get in an SRT. You can get it in a combination of SRT and base valve together called an Elite. Uh, read on our website. I'll put a link in the in the bio uh, for that. But the SRT allows the shock to get through the rough. The base valve forces the shock to perform 100% of the time. Um, both are very very good, and both come in a two and a half inch kit. So. If you want a different spring combination, say on the left rear, uh, you can get this in a two and a half inch kit. Um, and so you can start experimenting with some taller springs on the left rear if you so choose, or even possibly some preload left rear um, that is available. The kit number is 12990-18, I believe. Uh, I'll put a link in the in the bio for that also. Um, so the possibilities for a 12 series shock are big. I mean, and I feel like we've barely skimmed the surface. Um, and like I said, we'll be doing a video on big body versus small body and the advantage or disadvantages to running it. I don't think we really have taken the time to understand uh, the principles in it and what's going on so um, we need to look at that so be looking for that video but the 12 series 13 series uh, BSB shock uh, very good for the mod lights uh, it's been a very good shock for us it's a home body shock uh, billet piston it's it's a linear piston that when you put the ring shim on it it becomes uh, digressive and so you can make it linear digressive um, and you can stack it up you can have nose in it and it is a very good piece so uh, billet uh, glands billet divider pistons so this piece has been thought out very well it's a very good shock and it's an excellent piece for mod light so if you guys want to better your program and you're in a mod light or dwarf give us a call 620-326-3152 ask for me Jay Neal and I'll help you with the valving and understanding the spring rates and what you need uh, for your car. So give us a call. Check out our website, bsbgofast.com. Um, 
bsbshocks.com. If you need anything, just uh, message me on Facebook, or like I said, give us give us a call. 12 and 13 series shocks will help you win at the racetrack. So we'll see you guys next time.